NIB has gone ahead to renew its banking software for seven years at the expense of the bank's resources. So, you want to now let somebody acquire it, so the bank, that, that bank will run two banking softwares. You credit here, you credit there. You debit here, you debit there. This is a joke. We are aware of some of the sneezy deals regarding the NIB and its current head office. And some development that, have, that should have happened at the airport residential area close to the National Service Secretariat. And I'm in possession of very verifiable documents. We will pursue them at some point in time. I'm also aware that similar things have happened at GCB where in the past some $1.6 million were paid for rented space that today cannot be traced. We will trace it. But I'm surprised that a sick bank requiring around the clock 24 hour attention by an energetic young man is being managed by an overaged man. We all know that when you attain 68 or 70, this body, if you use this body for 68 or 70 years, no matter what, there will be challenges, there will be health challenges. So do you prioritize that challenge or you prioritize the sick NIB? I call on the president in the interest of NIB and the national interests to sack Samuel Sapon to go home and continue his retirement and get a very young, energetic, matured man who has the energy and the drive and still has a new body to turn around the NIB. We cannot continue with you surrounding all state institutions with your age mates. That should stop. But I want to tell you people, look, do you know that NIB had a full-fledged treasury department headed by a general manager with treasury officers, deputy treasury officers, and, and several other officers there. But you'll be surprised that very interesting schemes requiring NIB to outsource its treasury function to a private brokerage firm and share profit 60%, 40%. The brokerage firm takes 60% and NIB takes 40%. So what happens to the salaries we are paying to those workers? The future is pregnant. And I want to tell those who live in glass houses not to throw stones. Mm -hmm.